Today is the 1st of April and I'm here with my March favourites. Now I'm really excited to film this video because before this I was filming a video for the John Lewis website. It's something really exciting that I'm going to be doing so I will um, let you know more about that and I think I will put the video that I've made for them on my channel as well so you can go and see it if you like. But uh, the video had to be a certain amount of time and it was a very short time frame and I was really struggling to get what I needed to say into that time frame so I'm looking forward to being able to just chat away so be warned this may be a long video but I'm going to jump right into it and talk to you about my favourite products of the month of March. I tried a lot of products during that month. I've bought a lot of products recently as well. So I'm going to start with makeup because that's the most interesting. The first thing I've been loving is a foundation and this is the Healthy Mix by Bourjois. Really lovely, dewy, kind of medium buildable coverage and I like this much better than the original Healthy Mix. I've been very, very into kind of dewy foundations. I'm going to do a video about my favourite that should be up next week but this is a really, really great foundation and I just love everything about it really. Then I've also got a blush and bronzer that I've been enjoying this month and the first bronzer is the Bourjois Bronzing Powder, the chocolate one. I really like this. A lot of people said they didn't like it and that it was quite orange. It wasn't orange on me. Um, I love the smell of this. It smells kind of like sun cream and my little ponies. It's a really strange scent combination, but I really like it. And then another um, cheek product is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in Soft Pink, which is just just this really pretty pink colour. I've been really into kind of a nice pink cheek lately and that's a really great cream blusher and it's not too greasy either. Then I've got a lot of lip products I've been enjoying this month. The first two are kind of of the chubby stick variety because let's face it, I am obsessed with those. This is by Lord & Berry and this is one of their twist sticks in the shade Arizona, which looks like this. I will swatch it here for you. It's just this kind of bright corally orange colour, really nice formula. And then also one of the Revlon Matte Balms. I'm going to do a full review of these, but this is in the shade um, Elusive, which is just this lovely pink shade. This is my favourite. I am so into this colour. I think it's gorgeous. So I've been wearing those a lot lately. And then last but not least, I've been loving the Rimmel Apocalypse in, um, what is this called? Celestial, just this kind of lovely pink shade right here. I'll show you what the colour looks like. I've been wearing this a lot. I wore it a lot at the beginning of March and I really enjoyed it. So that's it for my lip products. And then I've also got a mascara here that I've been really into. And this is the Maybelline um, One by One Volume Express. To be honest, I like most Maybelline mascaras. I think they are one of the dr um, drugstore brands that kind of specialise in mascara. And I feel like a lot of brands do one thing in particular very well. So I feel like Revlon, for example, do lip products very well. And I feel like Maybelline do mascaras very well, if that makes sense. Really like this. It's got one of those kind of small plastic um, bristly type of ones. I really like it. It makes my lashes look amazing and it doesn't smudge. And that's two things that I really struggle with. My lashes are very short and this eye has different lashes to this side. So on this side, they kind of curve outwards more. On this side, they're very gappy. This is just a great all round mascara. So now I'm gonna move on to talking to you about skincare items I've been loving this. First skincare related item is this little massager by The Body Shop. And this is just great for kind of massaging product into your face. So every time I use an oil, I'll just kind of run this along my face and it helps to kind of get the blood flowing and help your circulation and it's just a nice alternative to giving your fa yourself a facial massage. Then a huge love of this month that I purchased a while ago it was the Una Brennan Super Facialist Vitamin C Gentle Daily Micro Polish Wash. I've been using this every morning and it has really helped my skin look vibrant and um, radiant and that's something that my skin doesn't tend to do on its own my skin is quite dull looking this really makes my skin glow and touch wood my skin has been quite good lately and I've been really really enjoying this star product go out and buy it then another kind of similar thing I suppose but I haven't been using this on a daily basis is the Ren micro polish cleanser this is just a kind of nice cleanser. I love everything from Ren, to be honest. I've yet to try a product of theirs I didn't like, but it just looks like this, and you get a small amount out. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a kind of dense, creamy formula. It smells 
beautiful it smells like oranges and you massage it on your face it's really gentle but it helps to brighten your skin and get rid of any dead skin cells so I've been using that on kind of my pamponite as my exfoliator and then also a kind of skincare product this is the Garnier micellar cleansing water I picked this up just because I thought I'll try it and I love this I've been using it to take my makeup off and you get 400 mils in here packaging very similar to Bioderma but really lovely, doesn't leave a residue, and I think I like it better than the L'Oreal version. So I really recommend it, go out and buy it. It's very, very inexpensive too, and you get a lot for your money. Then moving on to kind of body care products. The first thing I've been using, and I wanted to mention this because I've had a lot of questions from people this month asking how I've been so tanned. I did get a tan when I went away at the beginning of the month, but that kind of faded within three seconds. Um, but I've been using the Palmer's Natural Bronze Body Lotion. This is their gradual tan. I'm nearly at the end of it, and I need to pick up some more because I've been really, really enjoying it and I've just been using this um, so kind of like two nights in a row and then one night not and then two nights in a row and one night not that kind of thing really like this it does go a little bit weird kind of like on your hands the only place it goes funny is on your hands no matter what you do but it's a great color if you want something that's a little bit more noticeable than your average gradual tan and most of them don't really do that much for me this does it looks really good on my skin and I really really recommend this I don't love the scent of it though even though I know a lot of people are really into the scent then my kind of favorite favorite body products of this month has been the sanctuary body moisture spray this was part of the sanctuary gift set that I talked about a while ago and it just has this little spray applicator and you can spray it all over and just massage it in and it is amazing. It moisturises your skin so beautifully, it smells great, it sinks in, it's so easy to use and I am going to buy the full size of this when I run out because it's amazing. Then another kind of luxury bath product, this is the Christmas cookie um, foam, what do they call this, a shampoo, shower gel and bubble bath, I've only used it as a, as a bubble bath, the um, yeah Christmas cookie scent, I got it because it was just kind of in the Christmas sale and it smells so sweet and delicious, it's not very spring like because it is quite wintry but a really nice one. And then another sanctuary product, this is the mum to be collagen boosting body butter. No I'm not trying to tell you something even though I wish I was, <laughs> no I don't really, well I kind of do but you know what I mean. Um, the collagen boosting body butter, I basically love everything the sanctuary do, I think they can't do a bad product, like I love everything especially from their body range and this is a lovely kind of creamy body butter that just smells amazing and makes your skin feel so so soft and beautiful and I really recommend you pick one of these up if you want a nice body butter. And then last but not least I have got a perfume and this is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I haven't been wearing it kind of um, that much lately but at the beginning of March I wore this loads and it's a very kind of sweet pretty scent. I've been gravitating towards fresher things now because it's been a little bit um, warmer but I did a full kind of review in my celebrity fragrance video about this so I will link that down below because it's really nice. And then last but not least I'm going to do uh, kind of YouTuber of the month and just random favourites. So my favourite YouTuber this month has been Sally Hughes. Now for those of you who don't know she is the beauty writer for The Guardian, she has her own website and she is amazing I'm just obsessed with her I think her articles are so articulate and well written and her videos are just amazing I know I've mentioned her actually as a favorite youtuber before but I've been devouring her website um, lately just kind of in the evenings when I've got time just sitting in bed and on my tablet just kind of reading through everything and she's just phenomenal so knowledgeable and just amazing so um, yeah she's been a huge favourite of mine and I've also been really enjoying watching Charlotte Tilbury's videos but I always enjoy those because she's amazing also then for um, kind of movies and TV shows and that kind of thing I have been watching quite a few movies lately the best movie I have seen this month was probably Dallas Buyers Club well last month was Dallas Buyers Club um, we finished watching it and I said to my boyfriend, McConaughey's going to get the Oscar for that, as is Gerard Leto. And they both did. So I I, I knew what I was talking about there. Um, but yeah, great, great movie. Great acting. And I've got a lot of the kind of Oscar buzz movies that I haven't watched yet. 
but that was a great one. I really recommend you watch that because it's really, really well done. And TV shows, I haven't been watching any TV shows lately at all. I've not been watching much TV, I've been crazy busy lately. But um, Game of Thrones is coming back on the 7th of April, so I'm so excited about that. And that is everything I want to talk to you about. So I would love to know what your favourites this month have been, and I will also be sure to write everything in the info box that below for you if you want to go and have a look at that, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!